I live here. Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Craig's record once again, because since our last interview, he actually got arrested one more time. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to screen share. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm recording this on Friday morning. I just found out that we're going to have an interview with Big Wes. By the time you're watching this video, it probably did. Uh, probably already happened, and uh, I'm sure it was a shit show. But anyways, I digress. So we're going to write Hendry, first name, Craig. Search. So these, I'm going to zoom in this time so I don't do it, so you guys are able to see on your TV. So here we have, these were the charges we were talking about during the live stream with, it was the intimidation, uh, strangulation, confinement, domestic battery. So that's what we confronted Craig during the interview. But since then, on December 1st, which at the time of editing, this was yesterday, he got arrested again, another charge against him. So we're going to be taking a look at this today. And then while we're at it, let's just take a look at all the charges he got in 2022. So as you guys see here is the state of Indiana versus Craig Hendry. And it's a criminal misdemeanor. It was filed uh, on the 1st of December. Prosecutor case. And we have Craig Hendry and the state of Indiana. So the charges are driving while suspended, knowing violation and prior conviction within the last 10 years. So you're going to see that Craig has a lot of driving infractions. We're going to be taking a look at that. So here we have appearance filed on the 1st of December. That's pretty much all there is for that infraction. But what's strange is that, you know, Craig just got some very, very serious charges a month ago. He comes on our live stream, says, you know, he's not going to talk about it. He admits that it's him. And here he is getting arrested the very next day. Absolutely crazy. Like, how long does he think he can keep doing this, driving while suspended, these felonies here, and not end up behind bars for a very long time and i told him i said the real victim here is your family he does have a small child he does have a girlfriend we don't know if this is the victim of of these incidents over here but he needs to get his shit together and stop committing crimes and take care of his family anyways that might be too much to ask but let's look at the other charges so here we have, so we're going to be taking a look at all the charges in 2022, because if we take a look at the entire record, this video might be an hour long. So here we have in uh, 2022, 08, 04, it was possession of marijuana. Now, you know, in some states, weed is tolerated seems like uh you know in indiana it's not now i'm not for the war on weed i agree with the war on drugs but not the war on weed but that's just my personal opinion but if it's illegal in your state it's illegal you know you can't get caught having it so yeah uh here you see it says that it's a criminal misdemeanor, so not too much of a serious charge. But still, I mean, he got caught. I'm assuming it wasn't a large quantity because it's it's not trafficking. So, yeah. He was served summons. Let's see if there's a conclusion to this case. So he tried to vacate his plea. 
uh, it looks like he tried to possibly plead guilty and then changed his mind. And now there's a hearing set for a pre-trial. So the pre-trial conference is going to be in a week on the 12th, a week and a half. So he's going to trial for this charge. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at the next charge. All right, so here we have this charge. This is the one where he did with Ty. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at what it is. So it was intimidation, threat to commit a forcible felony, criminal trespass, not having contractual interest in property knowingly, and provocation. And it was in, uh, he said in Lake County, the cash bond was $995. Let's see what's going on. I really like the way Indiana made their site. It's really easy to search through it and find out all the information you want. So the hearing. So it says, okay, there's actually a hearing in four days. So this case is going to have a hearing on the 6th of December. So Craig is going to have a very, very busy month with all these hearings and trials. I mean, I think it would save the taxpayer if they just bundled it up into one, but I'm sure it doesn't work like that. All right. So next, we're going to be here a while, guys. So if you want to go grab some popcorn or something, you can feel free. Next, we have an infraction. So that has been decided. So we can take a look at that. So this was distracted driving and improper or no tail or plate light. So, yeah, that makes sense because he's always... You know, live streaming while driving, texting while driving. You know how they are, these kids. You know, they think they're invincible and they think they can't get into an accident. I've been in an accident and it is not fun. The car was totaled. Luckily, I was fine. Uh, just minor headache. But um, it, it is scary shit. So distracted driving, drunk driving, terrible stuff. And, you know, even if people are 100% sober... And they're just on their phones, texting, live streaming, like Chili does and a few other frauditors. It could have very, very serious consequences. But anyways, let's see at the conclusion of here. So said balance due $150. That's it. So whatever. That was just an infraction, but still, infraction, uh, distracted driving is not, not good. So here we have another infraction. Here it was for... Improper or no tail or plate light. Yeah, so here uh, the state of Indiana appears. The defendant fails to appear. Court enters a default judgment and imposes fine and costs pursuant to schedule. So he was probably, so he was fined $168. All right. Okay, this looks like it's the same thing. All right. Here's the next one. And we're still in 2022. This is still 2022. We're just in May now. So here we had work zone speeding. Worker is not present. And we have... Okay. This one looks like it was dismissed. 
Dismiss without prejudice. All right. So it was dismissed. You can call it not guilty. You can call it whatever you want. It was dismissed. Okay, here it was contempt of Craig Robert Hendry. There is no charge applicable. He was uh, interfering with the start of court proceedings by delaying convening of court. Set aside an error. All right, here we have some more charges. Still in 2022, criminal misdemeanor. Unlawful use of a police radio knowingly or intentionally possesses a PO. Okay. hearing was last week ago last no two weeks ago sorry a jury trial demand filed okay order granting a jury trial and that was just three days ago transferred a case so here there was supposed to be a hearing on the 16 but it was canceled because they transferred the case okay so that's good so they transferred the case probably to one of his other cases that way they can uh group it together save the taxpayers some money you know he's always talking about how the taxpayers have to pay this and that look at all these charges he's getting and this is costing the taxpayer money so here we have driving without a license what he was just arrested for a couple days ago, driving while suspended. And the conclusion has been, again, state of Indiana appears, defendant fails to appear, court enters a default judgment and imposes fine and cost pursuant to schedule. Charge of $175. All right. Here now we're... Okay, so we're this is 2021. That was the last charge of 2022. But things are still interesting over here. So we're going to keep going at least till 2021. So here we have... Operating a vehicle while intoxicated endangering a person and possession of marijuana here's a cash bond let's zoom let's go down to see what we have another change of plea hearing so it seems like craig likes to flip-flop a lot on his plea sentence uh, so here he was operating vehicle while intoxicating, endangering a person, confinement to commence on the 15th of December 2021, and the term was 60 days, and he had a jail credit of 14 days. Now, um, he also had, he also got 60 days for the possession of marijuana and it was concurrent now i'm not a lawyer but i'm pretty sure concurrent means he only has to serve 60 days if not consecutive would mean he has to serve 120 but if i'm wrong let me know in the comments i always like to educate myself on this type of stuff and uh yeah so he was sentenced And he had to pay $705. All 
All right. Now we have another one on November 3rd of 2021. Yeah, this video is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, criminal trespass, not having contractual interest in property knowingly. Cash bond $100. As we go down. Judgment. Case closed. Okay, so was he found guilty? Oh, uh, they had a negotiated plea deal. So the case was dismissed and the motion was granted. He had to pay $15. All right. Now let's move down. This is going to be another infraction. Failure to yield right of way at entrance to through highway. Not a big deal. Just uh, another infraction, $140. Yeah, uh, here we have another infraction. All those minor infractions, it's not a big deal. Well, speeding is not too good, but, you know, he's a kid. I expect him to speed. Uh, failure to signal for turn or lane change, driving left, center. Not a big deal. You know, it, it's the domestic assault. The, uh, you know, I also we're going to see here the gun charge pretty soon. And you know, the drunk driving, endangering people. that That's the big problem here. But, uh, you know, stuff like that. So here we have... Oh, this is another charge. I think this is possibly the same charge we've seen before because it says 11.24. And it's decided. That was when he uh, was endangering someone while driving drunk i think we've seen that before unless it's another charge it's hard to keep up with all his charges to be honest okay here are more speeding failure okay this this is the one this is the big case over here i think this is the one where they seized uh, Fifty thousand dollars from him. So dealing in a Schedule One controlled substance with weight at least twenty-eight grams, dealing in marijuana weighing between thirty grams and ten pounds. I think he said he had a couple of pounds. Possession of a controlled substance, possession of a Schedule One, two, three, or four. Possession of marijuana, possession of paraphernalia. Yeah, so this was a substantial amount of weed. So we're going to go down to see what happened. Oh, here they ordered a warrant for his arrest. Oh, uh, violation of probation over here on 7-20-2022. So that's when he was arrested in Lake County. He violated the probation for this incident. And that's why they issued a warrant for his arrest. Now, motion for continuance. I'm not able to find the conclusion of this, but... So he violated probation of this, but I'm not able to, maybe it's still pending. Yeah, it's still pending, which is weird because it's a long time ago, but this is uh, his biggest charge. All right, no charge applicable. This seems to be the same thing. The felony too. Oh no, this is the handgun without a license, okay. All right, I think we're almost done here because uh, this video is becoming quite long. So here we have the possession, carrying a handgun without a license. 
and his bond was five thousand dollars in this case same thing it's still it's still pending because he broke probation i'm not able to see if he got sentenced or not yeah the the warrant for his arrest was on the same day that he broke the other probation okay here we have miscellaneous civil another infraction and that so this is from 2017 so it seems like he was he was not committing any crimes from 2018 and 2019 and then 2020 he started committing crimes again or he started getting caught again now we're on page two okay this is small claims court okay interesting so we have melissa novak versus brianna novak and craig hendry so he got sued He was ordered to pay $131. Does it make any sense? Anyways. All right. So at least we covered the big ones. But uh, yeah, two pages of criminal records. So yeah, this was quite a video. I didn't think it was going to be that long, but we looked through everything. So there's no doubt in my mind that Craig is a career criminal. No doubt whatsoever. And yeah, anybody who's around him, girlfriend, friends, uh, they're going to be affected by this. They will be affected 100%. And he is a bad influence for Ty, 100%. And uh, yeah, just a career criminal that's here fighting for our rights, making sure that our rights are not violated. But meanwhile, he's breaking every single law you can imagine. So anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and we'll see you on the next one. I live here!